It's a great story. We're under mostly clear skies now. Things have kind of settled down tonight and tomorrow will be relatively quiet before we are anticipating a bit more rain because of that tropical wave, which we'll get to in a second. Few passing clouds with good visibility outside. Still very warm. 86 at Kenner with a heat, uh, heat index of 96. Dew point is at 76 and winds out of the east southeast right now at around 9. Still in the 80s across most of the area, but with clear skies, dew points mid 70s. We should see at least locations on the north shore get into the mid upper 70s and perhaps maybe some spots south of the lake. I don't know about the metro area, but Bell Chase and certainly Homa will be in the 70s overnight tonight. Few lingering showers, one north of Desalmonds. We've got a few in the river parishes kind of along uh, Airline Highway and then down south of Morgan City. Still a few little pop up sprinkles here and there. Looks like one just moved out of St. Bernard Parish, but nothing much. And we're under mostly clear skies and dry through the overnight period, starting out the morning dry and about a 30 to 40% chance for showers and storms tomorrow. Then our rain chances start increasing as whatever forms from this tropical wave starts moving toward the Louisiana coast. Now it is going to stay down to our south. Most of the models are in very good agreement with that occurring. The question is going to be how organized does this get? If at all, again, right now the Hurricane Center is thinking 30% chance of developing in the next two days, 40% chance after that. And I really think the better opportunity for any development is not going to be tomorrow, but more so Thursday and on into Friday, just based on what the trend has been on computer models. And also looking at the storm right now, there is nothing there. I hate to even call it a storm. There is maybe a broad circulation. Hard to see those low level clouds on the infrared satellite, but you can kind of make out a weak, weak circulation, if any at all. Storms de developing near the center is just not happening, so this is not a well organized wave at all. In fact, looking at the buoys, there are some stronger winds associated with some of those thunderstorms. A buoy not too far away from the center of where the Hurricane Center is declaring it at 27 miles an hour, so certainly some stronger winds associated with it, but that may just be falling underneath one of those thunderstorms. The circulation at the moment is having a tough time because it's still has this upper level trough out to the west, which is creating wind shear. That's not going to be the case for the rest of the week. And as we get into Thursday and Friday, that's when the models start to kind of hint at maybe a little bit more organization. Now, does that mean an organizing tropical depression or maybe a storm? I don't know about that. Or maybe it's still just a broad circulation, but never quite organized enough that takes it out of that tropical wave criteria. Again, both the Euro and the GFS are in good agreement that by Thursday, Friday, we may start to see a little bit more of a structure trying to form. Whether or not that actually becomes a depression or storm or not is still yet to be determined. And this is kind of interesting. This is the spaghetti plot. Again, notice all of the models are saying Texas or possibly down towards South Texas. You see this little cluster that is starting not where the center is being determined by the Hurricane Center, but down south. These models are actually based on the GFS. The GFS is thinking that the storm center may develop more farther south uh, as opposed to some of the other models that are in a little bit more agreement. Again, either way, this stays down to our south. The primary threat to us would be some rain. We could see a little bit of flooding rain as we get into Thursday and Friday, but I think most of that's going to stay down toward the coast. I just want to quickly show you Tropical Depression 7, which is way out in the central Atlantic. This is still days away from even making it to the Caribbean and notice the forecast from the Hurricane Center winds of 65 miles an hour. Then once in the Caribbean, it gets into a more hostile environment. Winds are down to 60 down to 50 as it continues to the Caribbean. So right now it's looking like this storm may not even make Make it well beyond the eastern or central Caribbean. Our tropical wave we're watching again, regardless of development, higher rain chances and probably stronger winds and maybe even some slightly higher tides. And then we start drying out, maybe still some lingering scattered storms on Saturday, but then a bit drier and spotty rain as we get into Sunday and next week.